Hey, this is Josh from BTL Liners, and today we're going to talk about whether or not you need an underlayment for your pond. So this is an underlayment, also known as a geotextile. And what it does is it protects your pond liner from the elements, rocks and dirt and various other things like that. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out if your liner needs an underlayment or not. All of our liners actually don't need underlayment. They're actually built to be really strong and durable and very puncture resistant. So they don't actually need it. But liners like EPDM and also PVC sometimes, they require underlayment. So we wanna make, you wanna make sure that you have an underlayment in the area that you're laying your pond liner down. The other thing that you might come across is that it's impossible to achieve a really good subgrade. And what I mean by that is the ground where you're gonna lay your liner. You wanna make sure that it's free of rocks and debris. And if you can't do that, if it's pretty much impossible, then this is when an underlayment or a geo textile comes in really well. And you're gonna to wanna to get that down underneath your liner. So you're gonna to wanna to lay this down first and then lay your liner on top of that. Liners like EPDM actually require underlayment, so you're gonna always have to have an underlayment when you're using one of those type of liners. We also sell protection over the top of your liner, which is called an overlayment. And what that does is if you're gonna put rocks in your pond on top of your liner, you're gonna want that overlayment between the pond liner and the rock itself. So that's just a quick summary of whether or not you need an overlayment and an underlayment for your pond.